Hello everyone. In this video lecture, we are going to study about basic computer instruction. But before that, let us record what is instruction. Instruction is nothing but a group of bit that tells the computer to perform a specific operation. That means we are given command to the processor or we can say CPU to perform a specific task and that is known as instruction. Now let us see the instruction format. In a basic computer, we are having 16 bit of instruction in which there are three parts, op run or address of op run, op code and a mode. From that 16 bit, 0 to 11, that's a 12 bit that is used for the op run or the address of the op run. While 12 to 14, that's a 12, 13 and 14, three bits are used for op code. Now, you may think that what is opcode? Opcode is nothing but an operation code for a particular instruction that tells you that, that tells the processor to what to do, what, which operation to be performed. Right, so that's an opcode. And then the last we are having mode. Now, what is mode? Mode uh, is a single bit, uh, we refer it as I right so if i is equal to 0 that means we are uh, using direct addressing mode and if i is equal to 1 that means it's an indirect addressing mode now what is this direct addressing mode indirect addressing mode that i'll discuss later now basic computer has three instruction code format right so we can say that we are having three instruction code format first one is memory reference instruction Second one is register reference instruction and third one is input output instruction. Now let us see the memory reference instruction. Now memory reference instruction in that opera makes a reference to the memory variable or location. That's why it is known as a memory reference instruction where you have the 0 to 11 that's the address, address of your opera. Right. Then 12 to 14 that's having op code and then the 15th bit is I. Now in memory reference instruction in a basic computer we have total 7 memory reference instruction right. So for that the op code will vary from 000 to 110 right. That's a 7 op codes we are having for 7 distinct operations right. And then I. If my i is equal to 0, that means I am using direct addressing mode. Direct addressing mode, I'll discuss this direct and indirect addressing mode in a uh, separate video. Then also I'll give you uh, some insights of it. Direct addressing mode, that means here whatever the address is there, at that particular address operand is available. And if we are using indirect addressing mode, that means at this address, another address is available. And if we go for that particular address, then we'll find the opera, right? So that's an indirect addressing mode. So just remember that if my i is equal to 0, that means we are using direct addressing mode. And if i is equal to 1, that means we are using indirect addressing mode. Now let us move ahead with the next one. So the next one is register reference instruction. Now here register reference instruction the operon makes a reference to the register variable right. So that's why here we don't have any address in the 0 to 11 this 12 b shows the register operation that which kind of operation we are going to perform in memory reference instruction for the operation we have a op code right seven op codes are there right but here we directly have register operand in this 12 bits right and then this 111 is fixed for the register reference instruction see in the previous one you have seen that it's a 0 0 0 to 110 right I'll write it over here that 000 to 110 right so this 000 to 110 this will refer for the op code right op code for the memory reference instruction right now here 111 that will generate the d7 signal right ultimately for the memory reference instruction for memory 
reference instruction will be having D0 to D6 signal. Right. So that's a 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 0. And for the register reference and the input output reference, it will generate D7 signal that is equal to 1, 1, 1. That means here this 1, 1, 1 is fixed. Right. And the 15th bit. Right. In the memory reference instruction, we have the option that if i is equal to 0, that means it's directly referring to the address. And if i is equal to 1, that means it's indirectly referring to the address. Right. So that is, but here, if we are having register reference instruction, then this i must be 0, not 1. Now, let us quickly move ahead with this input output instruction. Now, as we seen in the register reference instruction that this 111 is fixed, whether we are having register reference instruction or an input output instruction. For the memory reference instruction only, it will vary from 000 to 110. For rest of register reference and the input output reference, this 111 is fixed. That means we can say that it will generate the D7 signal, right? And here the 15th bit, as I told you earlier that in a register reference instruction, it must be zero. Then and only then oh, it will recognize it that this instruction is a register reference instruction. The same way in the input output instruction, this I must be one. If I is not equal to one, that means it will not... Uh, recognize it as an input output instruction so this beats are fixed if we are having like this 12 to 15 bits it's a 0 1 1 1 if this is fixed then we can say it's a register reference instruction and here if we are having like 1 1 1 1 that's a four ones right then we can say that it's an input output instruction that we'll see in the instruction cycle uh, in the instruction cycle we need to recognize that which kind of instruction it is whether it is a memory reference instruction or register reference instruction or input output instruction right so for that decision making we use uh, this d7 and i this beats this beats here right so that you will understand this so that is input output instruction and 0 to 11 that 12 bit is used for the to indicate the which kind of input output operation we are performing Right. So I hope you understood this three parts. Now let us quickly see the basic instruction. These instructions are available in basic computer. Right. So as you can see over here, here I have written symbol, hexadecimal code, hexadecimal code, that's a hexadecimal code and the description that which kind of operation. So uh, in my basic computer, in the like a uh, Nowadays processor we are having multiple instruction like various kinds of instructions are available but this is about the basic computer only. So in a basic computer we are having this instruction so we are I'm having this list of it. So first one is end right. So what it will do it will end the memory word to AC. AC means accumulator right so whatever data is available in the accumulator it will end that with the memory word now here we are having two codes right this i is equal to zero that means this is for the direct addressing mode and this is for the indirect addressing mode and if we uh, see the like if we see format as i explained you earlier right so i is equal to zero right i is equal to zero then that is a 15th bit then we have 12 to 14 bit right 12 30 that is for the opcode right and rest of the 0 to 11 that 12 bit is used for the address so here this x x x indicate the address right and this zero the zeros are for the end zero 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 right so this zero refers direct addressing mode and this zero 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 that's a opcode for the end operation this is the opcode for the end operation similar way here we are having eight right so opcode will remain same opcode will not change right so the opcode is zero 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 and we are having indirect addressing mode that means the 15th bit will be one right so we are having one zero 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 so that indicates eight 
so that's how it comes right so the 0 x x x triple x refer to the address right here also this triple x refers to the address and this 1000 refers to the 8 and this 0 0 0 that refers to the 0 so the opcode for the end operation that's a 0 0 0 similar way we are having this operation that is add operation that will add the memory word to accumulator and the same way it's having like for the direct addressing mode it's having one and triple x and for the indirect addressing mode nine and triple x right so it's a simple like that zero 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 one and here one zero zero one right in the same way we have this all the operation now quickly i'll uh, tell you the operation and its description right so lda that will uh, that is used for the load so it will load the memory word to the accumulator STA that will store the content of accumulator in memory. BUN that's a branch unconditionally when we need to branch something jump to some particular location at that time we use this branch unconditionally. BSA that's a branch and save return address. ISZ that's increment and skip F0. So here up to this, the seven instructions are memory reference instruction. That's end, add, LDA, STA, BUN, BSA and ISA. These are the memory reference instruction. After this, we'll be having register reference instruction. As you can see that all the register reference instruction are starting with seven. Right. Now what the seven indicates. So seven means zero, triple, one. And as I told you earlier in the format of register reference instruction that I is always 0 and the 12 to 14 bit, right, 12, 13 and 14 bit is always 1, 1 and 1. That means that creates 0, 1, 1, 1. That means every instruction starts with the 7, right. So this is how we can recognize that it's a register reference instruction. In a register reference instruction, in a basic computer, we are having CLA, that's a clear accumulator, CLE, clear E, CMA, complement accumulator, CME, complement E, CIR, that's a circular write, that is accumulator along with E, CIL, that's a circular left accumulator along with E. INC, that's an increment AC. Now the 7 and this 800, that's a 12 bit, right? That's a 12 bit operation code for the clear operation. Similar way, 400, that's a 12 bit operation code for CLE, right? Other than mm -hmm. that, we are having SPA, that's a skip the next instruction if AC is positive. SNA, skip the next instruction if AC is negative. SZA, skip the next instruction if AC is 0. SZA, skip the next instruction if E is 0. HLT, that's a hold the computer. Now, up to this, up to this, we are having the instruction that's a register reference instruction in my basic computer. Now here the rest of the instruction are input output instruction for the basic computer and it starts with F. So that means 1, 1, 1, 1. This 3 bits are 12 to 14 bits, right? And this one is I is equal to 1. Right, so this is how it uh, works and 800 that's an operation code for input instruction, right? So INP that's an input character to AC. OUT that's an output character from AC. SKI that's a skip on input flag. SKO that's a skip on output flag. IOM that's an interrupt on and IOF that's an interrupt on. You might be thinking that uh, what is this like uh, input flag, what is this output flag, right? So that I will discuss in the next video, right? Here we are just discussing what are the instructions that are available in my basic computer. Other than that, we also classify our instruction in the following category as well, right? So, so here we have functional instruction, transfer instruction, control instruction and input output instruction. From the uh, previous list only, that, that much instruction only we have in a basic computer, right? And in that, we classify this another thing, right? So, uh, those instructions who are performing arithmetic operation or a logical operation or a shift instruct, uh, operation, right? That those kind of instructions are known as 
functional instruction so this end and add complement circular shift right circular shift left increment these kind of instruction are known as functional instruction next comes transfer instruction so data transfer between the main memory and a processor register those kind of instruction we can say that it's a transfer instruction right so lda that's a load and sta that's a store these two instruction are known as transfer instruction because it's transferring the data from the main memory to the processor register right then next we have control register now that control register are a kind of register which deals with the program sequencing and control that will control your execution right so bun bsa increment and skip if zero this kind of instruction are control instruction next come input output instruction and as its name suggests it related with the input and output right so inp oot this kind of instruction are known as input output instruction so uh, this is a uh, basics of uh, instructions and basic computer right so i hope you understood it thank you